did Alan Turing invent artificial intelligence? In 1956, in Dartmouth College, United States, took place an important meeting in which a number of researchers of those times were united to think about what could be done with these marvelous new machines that had been built. Up to then, the machines had been used for military applications and little more. But they were thinking, can we do something like create intelligent machines? And this is the Dartmouth Summer Research Project in artificial intelligence, which led to the official birth of artificial intelligence. But actually, these ideas came from far behind. In 1937, Alan Turing invented what is now known as the Turing machine, which is a machine in which the particularity was that the algorithms on the programs and the data were living on the same object. And so the fact that both were similar, that algorithms on one hand, data on the other hand, were just zeros and ones, led to the idea that not only could the algorithms work upon the data, but the data upon the algorithms. In an important later paper, Alan Turing presented his ideas on computing machinery, sort of intelligent type of machines, and intelligence. In this paper, he not only introduced the idea that a machine could be intelligent, and intelligence for him represented things like being good at chess or uh, doing performing language tasks like automatic translation. But it was also the moment to ask himself a question. What would an intelligent machine look like? So one idea was to actually program all the intelligence into the machine. But he thought differently. He thought what we want to do is enter the brain of a child, not the brain of an adult. What distinguishes a child is the capacity to learn. So he invented the notion of a learning machine, a machine that could learn. There were other things in this paper, a number of discussion points which anybody can read. The paper does not require high mathematics. Uh, he also stated something that we are seeing today is very important, which is the role of randomness. A machine that is intelligence cannot be deterministic. It has to contain randomness. Summarizing Alan Turing's idea from then, he invented the terms of machine intelligence and the terms of learning machine. Today, many years later, we talk about artificial intelligence and we talk about machine learning. Another thing for which Alan Turing is known is for what is now called the Turing test. So the question is, what is the Turing test? And is it still relevant in 2023? To summarize the Turing test, the idea is that a computer is going to be hidden behind a sheet, a blanket, a wall. You should remember that in those days, computers were very heavy and cumbersome objects. And a human in a room has to guess when interacting with this unknown object, if he is interacting with a human or with a computer. So passing the Turing test has been a goal for the humanity involved in artificial intelligence since 1950. And today, people are perhaps speaking less about it. Nevertheless, why are we speaking less about it? Perhaps because for many today, passing the Turing test, which really just means being able to simulate intelligence, is no longer the objective. But recent developments of the very past few weeks makes us believe that the Turing test has finally been passed because when we are interacting with systems of type GPT-4, we are no longer sure if the result has been produced by a human or by a machine. This has an impact for everybody, but of course, more than everybody, for educators.